questo è vota mia, che molte persone sono infelici, perché guardano sempre a quello che non hanno. People always look for what they don't have. Only when they lose something, then they realize how precious it was and that they already had a good reason to be happy. That's the main message of the Happiness Theorem, a movie by Italian director and producer Luca Fortino and Canadian actress and producer Marie-Ange Barbancourt that premieres in Montreal February 1st. We immediately noticed we were on the same page in our way of thinking cinema. We started talking together about future projects that we are pursuing over time. The screenplay is set during the first COVID lockdown in Italy, while scientists around the world were working to fight the virus. It brings us to Sicily, where a child discovers the secret to truly help the elderly in his neighborhood. It's a story about a grandfather very close to his grandson that cannot see because of a conflict with his son. So family is what the movie focuses throughout its all development. Family, but also love and respect for seniors, altruism, and of course, happiness, helping people rediscover the road to happiness. Even in difficult times, it's possible to be happy. A message that touches everybody, says Marie-Ange Barbancourt, who plays the role of Yvonne, a Canadian tourist traveling to Italy to escape a state of deep depression caused by the traumatic loss of her husband and child. I think this film is going to be, be very important for everyone because this is a fable about happiness. An amazing cast who was able to bring this story to life, says Luca Fortino. It was an immediate chemistry. The actors were amazing at materializing the characters that I imagined in my mind, to the point that people who were observing from afar were captured by those emotions. Barbancourt couldn't agree more. When I'm on the set with Andrea Tidona, Anna Tademo, and uh, the, 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 the kids, Antonio Cadilli, it's incredible actors. This is the first time he's on the screen. I don't believe it. In Montreal, Teresa Romano, City News.